In this video, we'll show you how to install a Quantum 4 lock. Prepare the door using the Quantum 4 reader installation template. It is important to note that some holes are only on the inside surface of the door. Align the adjustable bevel of the mortise plate with the bevel of the door edge and tighten the bevel adjustment screws at the top and the bottom of the mortise case. Insert the mortise case into the door with the motor wire routed through the notch. Make sure the wires do not get pinched or pulled. Attach the mortise front plate to the door using the appropriate wood or machine screws. The screws must be tightened before the trim is installed. Lastly, install the scalp plates with the screws provided to ensure the latch properly engages into the strike plate. To install the lock trim, first remove the battery pack. Position the reader assembly on the outside of the door and carefully route the ribbon cable and power cable through the door. Do not pull or crease the ribbon cable. Position the inside trim on the inside of the door and secure the reader assembly to the inside trim using three screws. At this time, do not fully tighten the screws. Align the outside lever trim with the diagonal holes on the mortise hub and secure it with two screws. Do not over tighten the screws. Check the alignment of the inside trim and make sure both levers rotate without binding. Once the inside trim is properly aligned, fully tighten the screws and secure the reader assembly. Again, check both levers to make sure they rotate without binding. Place the battery pack in the lock and route the battery wire through the lower left corner of the battery compartment. Next, connect the reader ribbon cable to the printed circuit board and make sure not to crease the ribbon cable. Connect the reader power cable and motor cable. Optionally, connect the BLE cable. Lastly, connect the battery wire and the motor will reset The green LED on the card reader will flash once. The marks on the switch cam should be at the top and bottom when the deadbolt is retracted. With the deadbolt retracted, insert the long end of the deadbolt spindle assembly through the switch cam hole and into the mortise deadbolt hub. The retaining ring should rest on the switch cam when fully inserted. Route the ribbon cable over the battery, making sure not to crease it. Install the inside escutcheon with the thumb turn pointed upward. The final installation step is to secure the inside trim cover using the two torque screws. For customer service, contact Dormacaba.